All right, Steve, this morning we are counting down to history on the Space Coast. Tomorrow, SpaceX will attempt to launch astronauts for the first time on a mission to the International Space Station. Last night, mission managers gave the go-ahead to move forward with final preparations and possibly the best news yet, the weather forecast for tomorrow's planned liftoff has slightly improved. Mark Lehman is following all these new developments live for us. And Mark, it is not just the weather in Central Florida that's being closely watched. Yeah, conditions out at sea are also being monitored. If for any reason the crew needs to splash down in the Atlantic, backup dates are also in place. But at this point, officials are preparing for a launch tomorrow afternoon and the crowds that could have come along with it. No showstoppers, um, everything looking good and uh, you know, nothing that, that uh, would keep us from flying. NASA officials say all the technical aspects are looking good for Wednesday afternoon's launch of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon capsule. Their main concern... Now the only thing um, we need to do is figure out how to control the weather. Those weather odds improving to a 60% chance of favorable conditions. Forecasters say they're not only watching the weather around the launch pad, but also out at sea in case of a launch abort. Backup dates are Saturday and Sunday, where chances do look better. Overall, those look like uh, a better probability of, of launching and uh, lower risk numbers uh, across the Atlantic. Meanwhile, Brevard County Emergency Management has been worried about the crowds the historic launch could bring, issuing a warning for everyone to keep their distance. The Centers for Disease Control has issued social distancing guidelines to keep six feet between yourself and others, to avoid groups of 10 or more people, and to avoid mass gatherings. And for that reason, everyone is urged to watch the launch at home or on their TV or smartphone. As for today's schedule, astronauts Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley are set to attend a technical meeting this morning as they continue to prepare for a possible launch tomorrow afternoon. For now, reporting live in Brevard County, Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6. All right, Mark, thank you. Remember, News 6 is your source for complete return to space coverage. I'll be live along the coast tomorrow morning, and we will have team coverage throughout the day starting on the morning news at 430. And we know there is a lot of social distancing concerns, as March, Mark touched on there, with going to see this liftoff in person. So we've got you covered on that end of the spectrum here. Be sure to join us on clickorlando.com slash space tomorrow at noon for our virtual launch experience. You get to be the director and choose the camera view that you'd like to see. We have all the angles of this launch covered both on air and online.